All right, so now what we want to do is to show you uh, the basic concepts of, very basic concepts of C programming and see what actually C programming looks like and what do we do when we are writing a program in C. Um, uh, when you are writing a C program, the instructions that you are writing are written in what we call functions. So uh, first of all, um, uh, I have Visual Studio open already, so let me do And I have uh, 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 a file already ready to write programs in. Okay, so a, a, a C pro in C program. In just a second, I have to turn off the light here in Seneca because it's going directly on the on the screen, and people can't see. There we go. Okay, so. When you are writing a program in C, you write your program in sets of functions. Each function or procedure is what things happen inside. Okay? What's, uh, so if when you actually write a function in C language, the function is written like this. So um, essentially you are saying, uh, uh, you know mathematical functions, right? When you are writing a function in, uh, I'm sorry I'm bringing math. I'm going to say math, I was going to run out the door. But uh, I, th I think once in your life you saw something like this, right? Long time ago, probably, again, in a galaxy far, far away. You, have, you wrote something like this, and you said, okay, I have a function f. That function f gets an x, does something to it, and gives me a y, right? That's what you have done in math. So C language is written kind of to resemble that, but that's not how it works. In math, your functions don't perform actions. In math, your functions are all calculations. In C language, a function can do things. It can, uh, you can write a game with it. Somebody runs after somebody else on a screen. So it's not the, the same way, OK? So but, but how do you write a function in C? First of all, you mention what the function returns. And in this case, it's an integer number. So that's int means an integer. Don't worry, we're going to go through all the details, but I'm just going to write. Then uh, I'm just going to explain to you uh, what's, uh, what's happening in here. Then you write the name of the function. I write main over here. Why? Because when you have 50 functions written in a program, it should start from one of them, right? When you have 50 instructions, something has to start everything. The beginning of everything. That's why you can name a function whatever you want. You can call the function, oh, you can call a function hoo hoo if you want to, but nothing's going to happen because it doesn't say, it, it doesn't specifically tell to the, to the C language, I am the beginning. That's where you begin. That's why the name main is reserved. OK, main means the main function, the function that everything begins with. Then you have to tell what you are giving to this main from other functions. Is, is anybody providing anything to main to start working with? In our case, no. Main just starts by itself, and it has all its own information contained within. OK, so we are writing void. Void means nothing, OK? Void means nothing. And then at the end of this function, because it's returning an integer, I'm going to say I'm going to return an integer. So return, what do I return? Nothing. Not nothing. I return 0. <clears throat> you know who that 0 returns to? You should know where that 0 goes to by the information that I gave you. down to this point. If I told you, OK, this function main is returning a 0, where that 0 goes to? No. OK, let's go back. When you write a program, who runs the program? What runs the program in a computer? No, CPU doesn't run the program. CPU runs the program, but who gives it to the, to the CPU? Operating system. 
Uh, I'm hoping somebody in Canada said it and I didn't hear it, but that's probably it is. So, so it's the operating system that is supposed to run this program, right? So that zero goes back to operating system. What does it do? We don't know. Because we don't know, we just put zero for now until I know what is its meaning, okay? This is the smallest C program that you can write. And what does the C program do? Nothing. It's a program that does nothing. I can actually go to the debug. Debug essentially means they're working with it and, and running it. So I'm going to say start the program without debugging. It means I'm executing the program essentially. Okay? And it's control F5. So if you hit control F5 you hit, or hit that one, it actually compiles your code, sees to see if everything is right, and then the answer is nothing. <laughs> It doesn't do anything because I didn't write anything to, to, you know, it's just, it's an empty function, okay? In C programs, you can write instructions. You can use other functions. One of the mostly used functions in C language, again, C language is a collection of functions. People write functions to do things. And the people who designed the, the C language, they, they kept, C very simple. So you have around what, 13, 16, something like that, keywords, and that's it. There is no other thing. Everything in C language is made up of that, okay? So the people who actually wrote the C language, okay, they kept some important functions that you need to use for ent entering stuff from a keyboard and write something on a monitor. They actually kept it in a library. Okay? It's not part of C language. C language is blind. C language is completely dumb. It cannot say anything. It cannot hear anything. For C language to work, you need to bring the capabilities using functions that is already written. Those functions are kept inside a library. That library is called standard input output. Okay? Now, to bring that library in, you have to tell the compiler, hey, compiler, before you want to compile my code, please bring the, inc include the standard input output library in my program. And that is this, hashtag, I'm not tweeting. Hashtag over here means compiler, I'm talking to you. So whenever you put hashtag in C language, it means, hey, compiler. That's what it means. Hashtag means, hey, compiler. So I'm saying, hey, compiler, include standard input-output header file, which means all the input-output functions. And one of them is called print formatted. So I can now say print formatted, what to print. I, it's exactly a function like math. So I put the parentheses, and I'm going to pass to that function what I want to print. How do you p write a statement in C language? In double quotes. Essentially, you, you do the double quote thingy in, in English language, you bring your two fingers up. Anything you want to actually print, you have to do that in C language. So in here, I'm going to say my first program. And then I'm going to say go to new line. Backslash N means new line. Anything that you put backslash in front, it means don't print it. It means something's going to happen with writing stuff. So backslash N, it means new line. If I put backslash B, it's going to go beep. <laughs> okay, something like that. So backslash in front of a letter, it means do something in printing. Okay, so I'm saying print my first program and go to new line. Now if I compile and run my program, you will see it actually says, my first program. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first C program we have written. Okay? It is done like this. Now, if I want to do the exact same thing on matrix, all I need to do is to open that putty thingy to connect to matrix. Enter my password to log into matrix. Clear. Now I'm going to create a directory. You can't see it. It's too small. Let me see if I can make it bigger. How do I make this thing bigger? Uh, change settings probably. 
and appearance change okay uh, people in Canada can you see this thumbs up please if you can see this okay perfect all right now the operating system that you are using in Windows is a graphical uh, operating system which means you have a screen you have a mouse you move the mouse and you do stuff Linux operating system it has a graphical user interface because it's a but because it's a very geeky operating system people who actually do programming prefer to go old-fashioned way which is command line which means operating system by showing a prompt which in this case is showing a dollar sign tells that I am ready for your command now I can issue one command one of those commands is for example LS it means list so it's gonna tell me exactly what I have here in my hard drive now if I have too many garbage things over there I can go clear if I write clear and hit enter it clears the screen for me okay I can create a folder so I can put my stuff in it and it's not big it's not gonna be very messy so I'm gonna create one over here that command is make directory I think is it MD or make directory we'll see then in here I'm gonna say uh, demo uh, one uh, I'm gonna say SCP demo so I created a directory now I can change the current directory to that SCP demo now if I do LS there is nothing in there I am in uh, I am currently in the SCP demo and there is nothing in it now I'm going to use a program that is called nano nano is a program that is an editor actually as you see okay it's a text thingy so I want to write a program in here I'll do the exact same thing I have done in here which means writing this code but because I'm lazy I'm just gonna copy it on putty if you just right click it pastes there you go so it's as if I typed in there okay I didn't want to bore you with typing it so now I have wrote the program I can put control O so that carrot O that you see down there it means control O right out okay so I'm gonna say control O now it's gonna say file name to write I'm gonna call it uh, first dot C so the name oh, that's first okay <laughs> first dot C so now first dot C is written on the uh, hard drive in that directory now I can do control X for exit now if I do LS you see I have a first dot C if I want to see what's inside it's cat cat like a meow cat cat thingy so if you write cat first dot C it shows what is the content of the file text content and that's what it is now I want to compile that the name of C compiler the name of C compiler on Linux is called CC C compiler standing for C compiler what do I want to compile I want to compile the file first dot C what do I want the name of the executable to be I'm gonna put dash O and in here I'm gonna say uh, run first okay so the name of my executable will be run first and I hit enter in a command line operating system no news is good news always when nothing is shown over there it means life is beautiful it compiled and ran and everything's beautiful if I do LS I'll see that a piece of thing is written called run first now if I actually type that as a command say run first so I'm telling to operating system execute the program run first because now I have an executable when I hit it it's gonna say my first program and run it are we okay with this all right it's just a demonstration don't worry the next one time you're coming in we have a lab we're gonna do all these things together okay now for Canada people please by that time hopefully you have your computers and you're gonna get my uh, uh, instructional video to 
you're going to get my instructional video to install Visual Studio so when you're coming to your class, we can actually do it together. Okay? So that's uh, the program that I have written. Now I'm going to make a mistake. So I'm going to write nano first.c, and this time I'm going to just say print, not print f. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. If I put control x and get out, you want to save it? Yes, I'm saving it. Okay, now I'm going to run the command again. If I run it, it's going to tell me first.c undefined reference to print. It means you told me print. I have no idea what does it mean print. Because the name of the function was printf. Again, it's a computer, it's dumb, it doesn't understand what you're saying. If you don't uh, write the proper command, it will have a, pro a problem and gives you a mistake. And that concludes today's session. So, any questions, send me an email. Remember, start it with IPC144 so I know what it is. <clears throat> I'm going to post announcements, tell you exactly what the quiz is going to be on, and you're going to see all the links that the videos are, on, are in so you can go see the instructional videos and do the stuff you're supposed to do with your computers. Uh, if there is no question, we can go now. Everybody's okay? Everybody okay in Canada? Thank you very much. Have yourself a beautiful, beautiful day.